My name's Kota Maeda, college freshman, been dodging girls for six years now. Middle school, I confess to the popular girl, school-wide laughs follow, and boom, girl phobia's on. Now, college days, it's a total dude zone. Last time I even chatted with a girl was back during the college entrance. Yo, Kota, look! Check this out, pretty good shots. Though nothing compares to my natural beauty. Coda, weird expression there. <laughs> Shut up, you calling me the nerd dodging the filter, huh? Wasn't really saying that. Yeah, these three are the dudes around me, the only crew I got. Tsubasa Ogawa with blue hair, Makoto Goto rocking the red, and Hikaru Aoki, quiet but deadly. Been tight since high school. They pull me in when college kicks in, making me part of the group. Different personalities, but they all love their games, and now we're sticking like glue. How about we head back and get some gaming? But at Coda's place. Again? Can't we change it up? Maybe chill at one of y'all's spots? Uh, well, my mom's all strict back home. My place is a mess, though. And games are only at your place, duh. Fine, whatever. With four of us, the place is hella cramped. Alright! I win! Yo, Hikaru, pass that controller. Promised hours long past, dude. No can do. Alright, come on, Koda. Let's do it again. Darn it! Calm down. I'll take over. Nope. Wanna play with you? Me too! Don't forget me! Why, though? I mean, like, Coda's the kingpin at this, so totally, only Coda can give me a run for my money. <laughs> if you say so, let's turn this into a gaming all-nighter then. Uh, nah, gotta go. Late already. I gotta head home too. Same. See you all at campus. I yeah. Stings a bit when it's about sleepover. Want to do something college style, like an all night gaming sesh? But it's tight in here. Oh, I got an idea. Let's check it out. Found this nice spot to crash. Time to hit up the crew. Hey, you want to go have dinner with us? Back at it with the chatting. And gotta admit, these guys are kind of good looking. Not cool. Sorry, already got plans. Next time, ladies. Oh! Hey, Koda! Morning! Dude, what's with the sketchy face? Nothing. I was thinking about suggesting a trip, but it looks like y'all are more into grabbing dinner with the ladies, huh? Oh. Come on, at least react to that. Was actually checking if a trip might be fun. What do we do? But... Nah, this could be a good chance. Huh? What's going on? Alright! Alright, let's go! For real? Then I'll look up. Oh, but I want to go somewhere far. I'm more into traditional inns than hotels. I'm down for a place with delicious food. So many demands. And so, even though I'm saying this, the hot spring inn that matches all three of their wishes is right here. They got two types of open air baths, and the food's top notch. Yo! So, we made it. We're here, huh? Not the final boss battle or anything, right? And so, the one night, two day trip began. But for some reason, the three's vibes were kinda low. Even during meals, they seemed distracted, and I started to wonder if they had something to tell me. But hey, we're at a hot spring inn, where guys can open up while they're all in the buff. Or so I thought. Yo, go ahead without us, we'll catch up later. Yeah, sure, just make it quick. Wait, they're not showing up. I ended up getting heat stroke because of this. But seriously, what are they up to? Huh? My Yukata's gone! Slippers are here. Could it be? Did they ditch me and go to the other open air bath? Tsubasa! Makoto! Hikaru! If you've got something to say, spit it out already! Hey, what are you guys doing? We actually need to apologize. Huh? So, you guys did avoid me and went to another bath, huh? Why didn't you invite me? Well, because the one we were in was the women's bath. Come on, seriously? Ease up on the jokes.
It's not a joke. Look. What? Sorry for not saying this earlier. We were meant to tell you we were girls. But somehow cross-dressing seemed to suit us. Oh, hold up. Wait, what do you mean? Girls? If you can't believe it, why not check? Huh? Hold on, Hikaru. Cheating again. Now that they mention it, they do look like girls. Wait a sec. So, you've been lying to me right from the start? No, when we first met you, we were girls. Huh? Nah, wait. The last time I talked to a girl was during the entrance exam. With those quiet trio... Wait, could it be? That's exactly it. And so, it was the day of the university entrance exam. Our campus was massive, and the first test was simply finding your way to the building where your exam was taking place. Right as the starting time was approaching, I saw a group of three girls who were obviously lost. But whether it was because their voices were quiet, or because the other test takers were too busy with their own nerves, they were completely ignored. Excuse me, could you tell us where the economic department exam is? We're kinda lost. Please help us. Same department as me. I'd memorize the campus map, so leave it to me. Follow me. Their voices were so hushed that I could barely hear them, but I managed to guide them somehow. They said they wanted to thank me, but that's when my condition hit. Sorry, I've got gynophobia, so... From then on, about six months after entering university, I never saw those three again. And I thought maybe they hadn't made it, but... I never imagined that you'd turn into guys and be right there. Wait, what the heck? That's because we wanted to thank you, Coda. But we thought if we stayed as girls, you'd run away again. So we thought, why not just become guys? It's not scary if all three of us are together. Why would you even think that? We even studied how to look the part. After we entered uni, we saw you and decided to talk to you. At first, it was just a little prank. And we were gonna come clean right away. But spending time with you was so fun. We didn't want to ruin it by revealing the truth. But we didn't want to keep lying either. So we decided to come clean on this trip. This is just... So now you're gonna be girls from here on out? No. We're gonna leave what happens next up to you, Coda. We're fine with staying guys too. Even if you say you're ending our friendship, we'll accept it. We've still been lying after all. Ugh. Don't say such sad stuff, seriously! Huh? I mean, I was freaking shocked at first, but the time we've spent together is real. Coda! And plus, come on! Help me overcome my gynophobia, won't you? With all three of you, I might still have a chance. Well then! We'll take you up on that, Coda. Maybe we'll be girls for today and tomorrow. So, who's sleeping with whom? Oh, hold on. The speed of this therapy is way too fast. Coda? He got taken out by the excess of girls. The next morning. Huh? Morning already? I feel like I had the weirdest dream. <laughs> Those guys being girls, as if. Hey, you're finally up. Come on, we're heading out for sightseeing. <laughs> Lucky I brought the girls kit just in case. This is the first step in overcoming genophobia. Looking at them like this, they totally look like girls. Wait a sec. Hey, hey, where to next? Check it out. Duck boats. Wanna ride? How about you and me, Coda? Were they this cute all along? Hold on, capacity's two, so let's split into two pairs and compete. No, that's not fun. Hurry back, okay? No way, do I have to go three times? <laughs> Been waiting for this, Coda. What? Finally, we're alone. <gasps> Oops, careful. Come on, get closer over here. Y yeah, but you know, Makoto, you're still kind of manly even as a girl. Really? Well, I was the one who suggested we go undercover as guys after all. Huh? Really? I've admired male characters in my favorite games. Even the hair and stuff, I use them as references. Trying not to show my figure was tough, and cross-dressing was quite a challenge too, you know? I see. Oh, so it 
wasn't all for me. But the biggest reason was to get closer to you. Wait, am I being all fluttery about this? Oops. Time to switch. Let's head back. <sighs> Why's it gotta be back to back for me? Hang in there. <gasps> hey, butterfly. But Hikaru's always had that childlike vibe. Hey, Koda, wait up. Huh? You're sweating. Uh, getting close like this feels super intimate. Uh, th thanks. But Hikaru, you didn't change that much, huh? People used to mistake me for a boy and laughed at me. Tsubasa and Makoto were the only ones who actually talked to me. So I'm thankful to them. And of course, to you too, Koda. Uh -huh. But I'm still a girl, you know. Is that okay with you? It's, it's not a problem. Too long. Time to switch. Phew. Phew. Doing three in a row is killing me. Hey, want to swap out? Tsubasa's nice and caring to everyone, regardless of gender. But sorry. We've been lying to you for so long. Nah, don't worry about it. If it wasn't for you guys, I'd still be a loner. You're important friends, and that hasn't changed. Whoa, whoa, hold on. Sometimes you say really nice stuff, huh? You little... Hey, knock it off. But admit it. You were surprised, right? That I'm a girl? Yeah, I freaked out, but compared to those other two... Ah. You don't want to see me as a girl. W wait I'm not saying it like that. Huh. Whatever. It's easier on my shoulders. Dressing as a guy is pretty convenient too, you know? But, but what about in college? Well, right now we're getting a bit too much attention, aren't we? It'd be a pain if things got out and we were all over the place. Being a girl only in front of you would be nice, you know? W what the And so, the truth that no one could have expected was revealed. The trip came to an end without a hitch, and life went back to normal. In college, they seemed to continue posing as guys, but these three girls were now like idols. Yet, whenever they saw me... Let's meet up again at your place after getting back, okay? Uh, I mean, you can come directly. And once back home... Hey, I win again. Why the heck are you turning into a girl? It's all part of the treatment plan. By the way, Hikaru, it's about time for you to switch. All right, then I'll switch. No, that's what I'm saying. We want to play with you. What? By the way, it's getting late. Isn't it time to head back? We'll stay for the night. What? Nah, come on. This room's way too cramped for that. Aw, you were cool with staying over before, weren't ya? We'll stay up all night gaming or whatever. We're using the bath. All four of us together? Whoa, uh, just do whatever you want. Seriously, stop it, Tsubasa. <laughs> come on, come on. My nerves are on edge. I keep telling myself to act normal, but it's impossible. But this is friendship. What is friendship anyway? Ugh, whatever. I'm going to sleep. And I totally dozed off for a bit. Hey, Makoto, can you scooch? Okay, then let's get even closer. Wait, could it be? W what the heck are you guys doing? Oh, you woke up, huh? Don't mind us. Just go back to sleep, okay? This is a single bed, you know? And what about Hikaru? I'm... My spot. Hey! Not fair, Hikaru! I want that spot, too! Capacity exceeded, people! And so, the months passed in a whirlwind of busyness and fun. One day, the usual trio who often visited stared intently at my face, and then... Extreme makeover! Huh? Is this... me? Never thought you're so... Always thought you had a nice face, but... I'm actually starting to gain some confidence. Huh? But does it not suit me? No, I mean... You're super handsome. Totally my type. This is real manpower. I'm not hating this at all. Alright, I've got to make the most of what I've learned and improve myself. A few days later... Wait, who's that guy? Could this be the new member of the Hot Trios? The response is even more than I expected. 
Well, in reality, I'm just riding the coattails of those three. But where they went? Oh, there you are. <laughs> My popularity's soaring, man. Good for you. You've actually invested in yourself, huh? Yeah, I thought it'd make everyone happy. Kay. Huh? After that, I kept putting in the effort and studying. And while it wasn't quite on the level of those three, I started getting a bit more attention. I didn't mind as a guy, but at the same time, I noticed that I was meeting up with those three less often. I thought they might be busy, but I had something I wanted to say, so I decided to invite them after class for the first time in a while. Man, they came, but they seem a bit down. How's school been for you lately? Oh yeah, I'm like a total girl magnet now. And also, it seems like my fear of girls is gone. Uh-huh. And that's also thanks to you three. I see. What? Glad your fear's gone. So our mission's accomplished, huh? Well then, I'm heading back now. Uh, I haven't finished talking yet. Yesterday, it ended just like that. But I really want to make things clear. Where are those three? Huh? What's with that crowd over there? Excuse me, what the? Why? Hey, have you ever seen those hotties on this campus? Let's go talk to them. Well, but I guess this was bound to happen. <laughs> Why am I getting jealous? It's not like those three are mine or anything from the start. Wait. Y yo, looks like you're super popular. Guess you guys won't have time to hang out with me. Hey, Coda. Is that how you really feel? Tell us honestly what you've been thinking. Well, I felt like I was about to lose my mind from jealousy. Uh. I always thought you'd only show your girly side to me. But that's just my ego, and I don't have the right to be jealous. It's not your ego. Huh? We felt the same way, Coda. It hurt to see everyone fawning over you. Sure, you're not ours exclusively. But if you can feel jealous just like us, we're already yours, Coda. See? We said we'd be fine with only being girls in front of you. Uh -huh. But Coda, you know, you've become cooler for everyone. Nah, that everyone refers to Tsubasa, Makoto, and Hikaru. Uh my goal to overcome my fear of girls, my efforts to improve myself, it's all to become a guy who matches the real selves of you cute girls. Coda! And now, what I want to say is, I'm already yours. So, you three can be my girls! Coda, my love! You got the tax too, huh? You hottie! I've fallen for you again, my prince! My darling! Uh, hey! The people around us! Oh well, who cares about them? Alright! Then let's go to that place for commemoration. Huh? That place? Photo booth? We won't fit unless we get closer. Come on, you can get even closer. Coda, carry me. Chill out, guys. And what's this all about anyway? Well, it's a commemoration for the start of the Coda Showdown. Who gets you first? From now on, we'll complete fairly as guys and girls. You're mine! Like, how am I supposed to choose? And thus, the spark of the battle was ignited. But it might be a while before we see a resolution. Or maybe it's something that won't be resolved in this lifetime. Hi! It's me, Mel! Thanks for watching my channel! I'm super happy if you watch the next and other videos too!